Hey my inspirations, Muse here and I'm coming to you today with a few haul videos. Um, so it's probably going to be about maybe four, maybe, yeah about four haul videos that I'm going to um, film for you all today and I'll space them out so you're not having to watch haul videos all day. Um, but these are going to be my last hauls for a couple of months because I have gone on a two month no buy until I can save up my spending money for my cruise so I won't be buying anything so these will be the last of uh, hauls for a couple months so I hope you enjoy them so this first haul is going to be a haul from a company called Ricky's NYC and I will leave the information for Ricky's down below um, the information to the website so they have a collection um, of cosmetics and it's called the Matisse Elite Cosmetics and I guess it must not have been doing too well because they're discontinuing with everything. And so they marked everything down to one dollar. Um, as far as I know, the shadows, I'm going to show you some shadows, some pigments, and some pencils. The shadows and pigments, I think, were originally like $13 and they got marked down to a dollar. And I think the pencils were something like six or seven dollars. I can't remember. But everything was marked down to a dollar that I'm getting ready to show you. And I am going to swatch everything. So I'm going to start with the eyeshadows. I got six of them. Um, they all are browns, but you know I wear neutrals almost all the time. So I'm always looking for a lot of different shades of brown. So they come in packaging. The eyeshadows come in packaging. It looks like this. And it looks a lot like the MAC packaging. And then it has names here. And I'm not going to show you all of the names of these or all the packaging because I want to save time. But I did want to show you what one of the shadows looks like. And so this first shadow is called Deepest Brown. And they do have the names on the back here. And again, I'm not going to show you that. And it's just the flat top packaging. Looks just like MAC packaging. And Deepest Brown looks like this. This is more of a cool tone brown. More of kind of a, I, I would call it like a grayish brown. Looks like this on my finger. Swatch it now. That's just one swatch boxes like that on my hand. Can you see that? Very, very pigmented. And that is Deepest Brown. And this next one is called Leather. And Leather looks like this. And I think all of these browns are matte. And this is just a medium tone brown. Just a little bit warmer than Deepest Brown. And this kind of reminds me of corduroy a little bit. If you have Max Corduroy, looks like this on my finger. And I'll swatch it. And it's more of a skin tone transitional brown. That's it right there. And that one is leather. And this next one it's called Nude Beige. And it looks like this. And it's a light brown, beigey color. Almost, this would be probably a good highlight or a lid color for a neutral eye. It reminds me of the Blame It On Midnight by NYX. Looks like that on my finger. Very pigmented. These shadows are so pigmented. Swatches like that on my hand. And that actually looks like the lid color on um, the Wet n Wild palette to Muse and Caruse, the one I just did a tutorial on. Um, I will leave a link for the tutorial down below so you can check it out. Next up, this color, and I like the name of this color, it's called Kama Sutra. And this actually I don't think is a brown. I think this is a really, well, I think this is a deep purple almost gray looks more like purple Let's see if I can get that light looks like that let me swatch it for you yeah it's like a deep purple almost gray looks like that on my hand, finger yeah 
again it swatches like that on my hand these are so pigmented they're not chalky I'm not getting a lot of fallout you can see through the swatches they're not chalky at all so this next color is called suede and it looks like this and it's just another mid-tone brown I'm trying to get it as close as I can without getting a shadow on it. Swatch it for you. And this is what it looks like on my finger. And this one you're gonna is gonna be very faint. This swatched out right here. Very, very faint. Not because it's not pigmented, but the color kind of just blends in with my skin tone. And that one is called Suede. And this last one is not a brown either. Of course, I have to get one purple. This one is called Plum Velvet. And this is a very deep purple, almost brown. This, to me, would be a great color for your outer crease, your outer V, to deepen that up. Swatch it for you. These are so silky and so creamy like if a powder can be creamy like they're really really silky no fallout looks like that Let me swatch it and it swatches like that and so those are all of the shadows that I got I got one, I think this is a fairy dust, a star dust, and it comes in a packaging like this, which reminds me of the MAC pigment jars. Um, I thought I had one around here, but I don't, so, and the packaging looks like this, it looks just like the MAC pigment jar and the name on the bottom, and this one is called Purple Haze. Focus. And it's just a dark purple shimmer pigment. Looks like that. And I'll swatch it for you. Has a sifter on it. And I just put a little bit right there in the top. If you can see how much I put in the top. And I'm going to swatch that. Looks like that on my finger. Very pretty. And that's what it looks like swatched on my hand. Very, very pretty. Next up is going to be their Pure Pigments. This is really why I placed this order, you guys. Um, in one of my makeup groups, a young lady bought these and she swatched them and I was just like yeah I've definitely got to get me those pigments so the pigments come like this and they're a little bigger I mean a little narrower than the packaging for the um, stardust this is the stardust let me close it so you can get a this is the stardust and this is the pure pigment so you see the difference in the size let me see if I can see a difference in the weight this is three grams believe it or not and this is one gram so yeah so this first one is called pure orange and their packaging looks like this it's just a longer slender more slender and it's got the name on the bottom and these have the little circle opening if you can see that And it just has an opening like that. So I'm going to just literally swatch what's right here on this little top part that came in the top of it. Oh my goodness. Wait till y'all see this. Okay, so I swatched it with a Q-tip and this is what it looks like. Very pretty. And that is like bright, bright. 
and that is the pure orange and the next one up is the pure blue looks like this very pretty blue and pure blue swatches like this very very pretty blue those are so pretty I am loving these next up is pure yellow and pure yellow looks like this very pretty very bright canary yellow and the yellow swatches like that now the yellow out of all of these so far appears to see, be the chalkiest but I've noticed that with a lot of yellows that's usually what it is it's usually chalky and that is pure yellow this next one is called pure green and pure green looks like that very pretty green and pure green swatches like this very pretty green very very pretty green loving these i'm absolutely loving these for a dollar y'all y'all better get over to that website and like <laughs> really y'all need to get over to the website and order so this next pigment is called pure pink and pure pink looks like this very nice pink and when i say these suckers are bright they are bright and this is a swatch of pure pink look at that can you see how bright that is that is so pretty so pretty and that is pure pink and last but not least, least is pure red which looks like that and let me I'm gonna show you how bright pure pink is this is pure pink and this is pure red I hope my camera is picking up the difference so you can see how bright that is let me go ahead and swatch pure red for you and pure red swatches like that and so those are all of the pure pigments now because these are pure pigments you can use these for lipsticks you can use them for blushes you can use them for eyeshadows you can turn them into um eyeliners you can do so much with these pigments i definitely suggest you pick up some of those pigments so the last two things that i got were um lip pencils and the first lip pencil i got they look like this And this first one is called Pecan. And Pecan is just a nice medium brown. And I'll swatch it for you. And it swatches like that. Perfect for a nude lip. That is Pecan. And the next one is called Merlot and merlot looks like this it's like a burgundy kind of wineish and from what i understand this is a dead on dupe to max vino which i do not own that to compare it but i've seen swatches in a beauty group of this vino and night moth and it is like dead on to the vino and so it swatches like that very pretty and so that is everything that i picked up from ricky's nyc once again i will definitely leave the link to the website below go over there check it out place the order stuff is selling out fast they are getting rid of all of their inventory so when it's gone it's gone they're not getting it back um and like i said every single thing that i brought is one dollar so head over and check that out I want to thank you all for watching this video. Thank you to all of my old as well as my new subscribers. I do appreciate your constant support. If you have not subscribed to me, feel free to go ahead and click the button. It's like right around here somewhere. 
click that button and subscribe don't forget to thumbs up and comment on this video stay tuned for the other hauls that i've got coming up and don't forget to check out the two giveaways i got going on right now thanks so much for watching i'll talk to you lovely soon bye